We've had several clinical trials open to evaluate and develop HIFU in a clinical setting for pediatric solid tumors of benign and malignant. And our hopes initially was to look and see whether or not we can use local control methods with HIFU. And again, HIFU would provide focus energy um, so you can create temperatures of up to a certain amount that can cause ablation of tumors uh, just by heating them to a certain degree and causing necrosis, or by heating them to a certain amount to create favorable um, environments to provide other therapies like chemotherapy and other things that we can provide that may provide better penetration of drugs into certain areas in a way that is non-invasive, so there's no surgery where there's no radiation involved, um, and it can be done all incisionless, non-invasive, and provide another form for local control, but also ways that we may enhance delivery of drugs as well. I think HIFU is a really exciting technology that, again, will allow for a different paradigm of how we think about treating solid tumors, both in a locally and in a systemic way. So it's not the be all end all because there are lesions that are not approachable by HIFU, but the different ways we can manipulate HIFU for not only providing um, high intensity focused ultrasound for ablation, but also providing it ways that we can provide hyperthermia by thinking about other ways where we can use mechanical disruption of tumors to potentially make tumors more antigenic, combining it with different types of novel therapies, including heat sensitive chemotherapies to provide improved um, chemotherapeutic concentrations of certain drugs to levels where we can't provide it because of systemic toxicity, but also combining it adjuvantly with other types of therapy, such as immunotherapy, um, where we've seen some really exciting work in some of our preclinical models and that we hope to translate into the clinical setting, I think can change the way we think about the paradigm of how we treat solid tumors, particularly the local control of them, as well as how we give some of our therapeutic agents.